one of the things I've been working on is um, I've actually been sitting talking with um, Steve and Scott over at Sirius Radio is um, taking over the morning show uh, over at Shade 4 or 5. I went in and did it, you know, Angela Yee went over to Power 105 and, um, and I'm really proud of her and happy for her because she, I watched that girl work her way from, I used to see Angela and I swear I couldn't, you know, she said, every, she used to always remind me, every time you see me I have to reintro reintroduce myself and I met you 20 times already and I was like, well, you know, you know, I know who you are and and we became friends, and, uh, and and when she got into radio, radio isn't as easy as people think. They think you could just jump on there and become this magnificent radio personality, and it's not about that. It's not about just jumping on the air and saying the most shocking thing that comes to mind. It's about longevity and creating a movement, so on and so <clears> forth. <throat> when she left, um, they were looking for people to fill in. I know Reggie Hawkins over there who does programming, and... Uh, Man, I swear for about a year or so, he's been asking me to come do something with him. And I, all I really wanted to do initially is put the wake-up show on, on, on Sirius, on Shade 4 or 5. And um, this opportunity came about, and I filled in for them one day and had a great time. You know, I filled in and had a really great time. I got Corey Guns came up there, Peter Guns. I had them do a little cypher. We got to talk about, you know, this was uh, the day that it came out that the publishing companies for Mark Twain books were going to change the word nigga to slave or and we got to talk about that so I had fun I took a walk a flock of flame um, song and everywhere he said nigga I put slave to see if it'll work and, and we just have fun with it and the audience that's serious is just really just the most um they're, they're the most phenomenal part about satellite radio is the audience when they call in and you know man radio has always been my roots and I hadn't done anything permanent like that. I mean, we still do the wake-up show, but since I filled in for Hot 97 when uh, Star Buck left for about eight to ten months, about ten months, and I did that, and that was a challenge, trying to reverse people's, people had no idea what I was about, and initially it was hard, it was a challenge, but that challenge made me stick in there until I got those numbers back up, and then I left, and I hadn't thought about doing it since, but Sirius is, I think, um, in terms of radio, um, is uh, satellite radio is going to be here and it's a great way to do the same thing we're doing on rap fix without the restrictions without you know the the ceilings without the limitations and so we've been talking about that morning show working with shade four or five working uh with paul rosenberg and you know that's eminem station and m is somebody i really respect and known since he came into the game and and um, I think it's a great opportunity, but what I'm excited most about is being able to bring artists on that show that don't get exposure otherwise, talk about subject matter that I can't really, it ain't time to talk about on MTV, just make people think, man, to challenge people to think about this music culture and have fun with it, crack a few jokes and, you know, and do the same thing we did with the hottest MCs and bring up some controversial stuff about uh, music. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? The y'all father coming to give niggas the business. It's so beyond rap, cocksucker, we live this.